Hello everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. We need to find the value of x. So how do we get to find the value of x? x is right over here. The first thing that we need to do is to consider this property. So when you've got a, power b is equal to a power c. This implies that uh, b is equal to a c. So what are we trying to do here? Or what are you trying to say here? We're trying to say that when the bases, this is a base and this is a base, when they are equal to each other, this is a equal to a, meaning the powers, regardless of how they look, they are equal to each other. So how do we apply this property? When we look at the base here and the base here, they are different. So we need to do what we call balancing the bases. We're going to write a 2 power 2 and x power 2 right here. Okay? So 2 power 2 would definitely give us a 4, which is equal to a 2 power 6. So you can see 2 power 6 will give us a 64. Again, at this point, there is a property which says that when you've got a power b and the c here, this will simply be equal to a power b c. Power to power, you multiply. And this is what we need to do right here. We shall say 2 power 2, x power 2. When you multiply 2 times x squared, it's 2x squared as a power, which is equal to a 2 power 6. Now, applying the property which I showed you first, the bases are equal to each other. We can equate the powers. So this will be a 2x power 2 is equal to a 6. I hope you are able to see. So this power equal to the power right here. And this is what we have. We divide by 2 by 2. This and this will go x power 2 will simply be equal to a 3. So we can now get rid of this power 2 by simply saying x is equal to the square root. That is positive or negative square root of 3. So this will give us two answers. x will be equal to square root of 3 or negative square root of 3. So these are the two solutions of this equation. We can now try to prove and see if really these are true solutions of this. So we shall say 4 power square root of 3 power 2 is equal to 64. So in place of x here, we write square root of 3. The root and the power 2 will go, which I remember is a 4 power 3, which is equal to 64. What is 4 power 3? 4 times 4, it's a 16. Times 4, it's a 64, which is equal to 64. This holds. So this is one of the solutions. For this other solution, we can also do the same. We write 4 power negative square root of 3 power a 2, which is equal to 64. So negative squared will give us a positive. This root and the power 2 will cancel. We shall remain with a 4 power 3, which is equal to 64. Uh, 4 power 3 will give us a 64, which is equal to 64. So these are the two solutions of uh, the given equation. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. This has been Sichamba Jacob. And bye-bye.